In Mississippi, white control has made the past hard to distinguish from the present. More than anyone else, the spirit of resistance to this control has been Fannie Lou Hamer. At the 1964 Democratic Convention, Mrs. Hamer was a leader of the attempt to unseat the regular Democratic delegation from Mississippi. Mississippi is still a very rough place, you know. Um, people is not just walking up like they used to do in the past, walking out, you know, shooting a man down or getting maybe two or three hundred people carrying you out and lynching you, but it's, it's in a most subtle way. Um, you know, they can let you starve to death, not give you jobs. These are some of the things that's happening right now in Mississippi. See, Mississippi is not actually Mississippi's problem. Mississippi is America's problem. Because if America wanted to do something about what has been going on in Mississippi, it could have stopped by now. It wouldn't have been in the past few years, 40, uh, between 40 and 50 churches bombed and burned. You see, and this, this, you know, this lead me to say, you know, all of the burning and bombing that was done to us and the houses, nobody never said too much about that and nothing was done. But let something be burned, you know, by a black man and then, my God, you know, you see, the flag is, is drenched with our blood. Because, you see, so many of our ancestors was killed because we have never accepted slavery. We had to live on it, but we've never wanted it. So we know that this flag is drenched with our blood. So what the young people are saying now Give us a chance to be young men, respected as a man, as we know this country was built on the black backs of black people across this country. And if we don't have it, you ain't gonna have it either, cause we gonna tear it up. That's what they saying. And people ought to understand that. I, I don't see why they don't understand that. They know what they've done to us all across this country. They know what they've done to us. This country is desperately sick and man is on the critical list. I really don't know where we go from here.